Yo, what's up, guys? So in the last episode, man, we really got to know Dave. Uh, we met my cousin Chip, and <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna get into today, but let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I was shocked. I wasn't shocked at the audacity. I was just shocked because I would have never thought to say that. I don't think any black dude would think to say that because they know we know the law. <laughs> Every black dude in this room is a qualified paralegal and shit. He knows the law. <laughs> I mean, if one of us even start to do something wrong, an old black man would pop out of nowhere. Nigga, don't do that. That's five to ten. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> That's funny. Well, we know the laws and the penalties. Guy Chip didn't even know he couldn't race. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't like police. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm just scared of them. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Sometimes I feel you want to call them too. Somebody broke into my house once. It's a good time to call him, but I don't know. Uh -uh. <laughs> house is too nice. It ain't a real nice house, but they never believe I lived in it. Be, oh, he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he said they're still here. <laughs> Open and shut case, Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. I saw this once before when I was a rookie. Apparently, this nigger broke in and hung up pictures of his family everywhere. Bro. <laughs> well, let's sprinkle some crack on him and get out of here. <laughs> they must have really done that back in the day. Oh, you know, that's that, that's that whole brutality thing. It's, see, that's common knowledge now. There was a time when only minorities really knew about that. I'm not going to say white people didn't believe us, but you were a little skeptical. You were a little skeptical. I mean, I don't blame you. And then Newsweek printed it and he knew it was true. And then the Newsweek wife was like, oh my God. <laughs> Honey, did you see this? <laughs> Apparently the police have been beating up Negroes like hotcakes. <laughs> like hotcakes. Just sitting issue. at the dinner table in the 50s. <laughs> I mean, really, how could you know, though? How could anyone else know? You know. I mean, you, maybe you should have seen something a little suspicious. Don't you think it was like a little suspicious? Just a little suspicious? Yeah, every dead black person the police find has crack sprinkled on him, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Who gets shot and sprinkles crack on themselves? Nobody will do that. <laughs> Bam! Oh, oh. Right, that's a waste. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let them know the cops did it, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> to be honest, where I'm from, we don't see a lot of shot people. Uh, <clears throat> I grew up in the country, not really the city. <laughs> But you I, be see more I shot believe deer? you. Yeah, I see a lot of shot deer. Don't sprinkle it's crack got on beer, those. It's got beer sprinkled on them. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a paranoid guy, you know. That's how I am. <laughs> I am. I'd be scared to call 911 for anything, even if it's like a fire or anything, because they tape those phone calls. I see the shows; they tape them, and then they play them on television. That's fucked up. <laughs> now, I don't say anything if I'm scared. That shit is private, you know. What I mean? Nobody get killed. Like and I'm on True Crimes, you watch. Now I'm on one tape on the news, I'm dead. I can't explain myself to my buddies and shit. <laughs> my buddies. <laughs> we watching the news. We have Reg Chapman on the scene. Reg, <laughs> what's going on out there? Oh, it takes a guy on the scene a minute. Hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Yes, we just got hold of a copy of Dave Chappelle's Frantic. <laughs> Nine one one emergency call. <laughs> Remember, viewers, some of this language is disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he nail that? Hello, emergency. Help! <laughs> Help, motherfucker, they're coming to get me! <laughs> Calm down, sir, where are you? Oh, oh, I shit on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop crying. <laughs> They play that shit 30, 40 times a day. <laughs> With the internet even more. I know. It'll Look be a him. short. <laughs> you know Dave shit on himself right now. He's going to defend news. himself to his God, buddies. He's crying like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'll be dead. I can't defend myself. That's not a nice thing to do. That's not a nice thing to do. I mean, it's a 911 tape. How do they expect you to sound? <laughs> of course you're going to be scared. It's an emergency. Nobody calls 911 cool and relaxed. That, that shit would sound ridiculous. 
Hello, emergency. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that would be suspicious. Hey, one, how are you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, there's a group of hooded white men gathering outside of my house. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like they mean business. <laughs> Get out here now. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound ridiculous. Doesn't it? <laughs> you know what the thing about Dave Chappelle? He has so many little characters in his mind. It seems right. like. like he has all these. Like I bet when you go to a gas station, he would do like a mean like gas station clerk or something like that because he has so many cliches of like characters like Ernie. <laughs> yeah, get this one Ernie. And he goes Johnson. <laughs> yeah. It's too much pressure. That's my problem. I can't. I can't handle pressure. Sometimes pressure make me talk different. I'm serious. You ever have like that social pressure? You ever talk to somebody who's fake and they make you fake? Like that kind of be like, hey, how you doing? You're like, fine, yep. how are you? And you're like, I don't even talk like that. All the time. Not I get me. sick of that shit. I do. It just makes me sick. Sometimes I'll talk crazy just to make myself feel better. You ever do that? They start talking like crazy. Like, you ever hear this voice? Man. That's, that's how bad guys used to talk in the 40s. In the old days. See, I, used, I talk like that. Not all the time, but if somebody put the pressure on me, fuck it, I gotta, I gotta cut loose. <laughs> hey, the police pull me over, I'll talk crazy. Son, son. Do you know why we pulled you over? Nah, because nah, I'm black, black see? see? That's right. Nah. <laughs> Guys, so when we first watched Dave Chappelle, I'm pretty sure this is a skit. Is this not going into the hood? Oh, yeah. This is the going to the hood part, right? I think so. Because I knew that part. Yeah. All right, guys. So I had a lot of fun hanging out with you dudes, man. The thing is, is when we first watched Dave Chappelle, the 3 a.m. in the ghetto was the very first skit by this dude we ever did. So I'm not going to sit here and re-react to something that I've already seen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that video. I'm going to drop it in right here. So if you guys haven't caught up with that, you can either go check out the original video. I'll link it in. That's it, man. We're going to be back with more Dave Chappelle. So sorry about that. I was wondering when that part was going to come up. But here we are. If you haven't seen us uh, react to Dave Chappelle 3 a.m. in the ghetto, go check it out. I'm going to link it right here. And we're going to finish the rest of the special, guys. Let's go. It's too much pressure. That's my problem. I can't, I can't handle pressure. <laughs> Sometimes pressure makes me talk different. I'm serious. <laughs> you ever have like that social pressure? You ever talk to somebody who's fake and they make Hold on. Before we get started, do you recognize him? No. The thing is, he's on the Dave Chappelle show, but I've never really seen that show. I feel like I've, I know the, it's Rick James. Like, I know that part. You've heard of that, right? <laughs> I, does it say the B word after? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You've heard, heard of that? that yeah. That's him. Oh, that's him? That's him. I think he plays a character on the Dave Chappelle show. Was, he's a was comedian, that, too. Was he ever, like, on radio shows? I, I don't know. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Maybe Because that's where I thought I heard Rick James. Uh, Talk to somebody who's fake, and they make you fake. Like, that kind of like, hey, how you doing? And you're like, fine, how are you? And you're like, <laughs> yep, every time. <laughs> I don't even talk like that. That's a girl thing, I think. I get sick of that shit. <laughs> I do. It just makes me sick. Sometimes I'll talk crazy just to make myself feel better. You ever do that? They start talking like crazy. Have like, you ever heard this voice? <laughs> that's, that's how bad guys used to talk in the 40s. In the, 40s. In the old days. See, I, used, I talk like that. Not all the time, but if somebody put the pressure on me, fuck it, I got I to gotta cut loose. <laughs> like, the police pull me over, I, I'll talk crazy. Son, son, <laughs> do you know why we pulled you over? Nah, because I'm black, see? That's right. <laughs> nah. I was wondering where he was going with that. Me too. I'll be like, um. Nah, because I'm not black, see? Like <laughs> How do they know I don't talk like that every day? Stop talking like that. Stop talking like white copper. Nah. <laughs> That's how I talk, see? <laughs> see? like a cartoon character or something. You got to make life interesting like that because this shit is flimsy. <laughs> Life is flimsy. You, you think you're going to live forever, you ain't but I'm going to live forever. <laughs> it's dangerous out here. We know what's going on. I travel now, you know. I used to think D.C. had the roughest ghettos in the country. Nah, nigga. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I have seen some shit now. <laughs> oh, there's some I wonder rough, what he's gonna rough say. areas outside of D.C. 
Yeah, everybody should go to the ghetto. I was taken to the ghetto one time. That's the worst. When you get taken and you're not expecting to go. Usually <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you want to know when you're going to the ghetto. Like, I'm going to see some wild shit. I got to prepare myself. I'm going to see something crazy. <laughs> when you're taken, it's different. <laughs> I had a limousine driver. It was after a show. It was late at night. It was like 3 in the morning. I had a limousine driver. He was a nice guy talking to me and shit. Oh, hey, where you from, dog? <laughs> DC? <laughs> <Word>? <laughs> That's a rough city, man. <laughs> and the cell phone started ringing. Hold on one second. Hello? Oh, what's up, nigga? What? What the fuck? Slow down. What? What the fuck? <laughs> no! 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 Fuck that nigga. Fuck it. I'm on my way. <laughs> like he was like a real cool driver. I know. And then he flipped that phone. Hey. Oh, my gosh. I got to make a stop. Have you ever been taken to the ghetto before? Uh, well, I did have to pick up one of my employees before. And <laughs> it was just a really tough spot. Oh, yeah. man. One time when I was a kid, bro, I was like, how old was I? Like 16 at the time? I was working at this old country cooking spot. It was, a, it was my first job. And I dropped this dude off that I worked with. And next thing you know, I'm taking some dudes to the bank. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good time. Hot real quick. But I knew I was at going that night. I know he was taking me to the ghetto at first. I started looking out the window. I was like, what the fuck? Is gun store, gun store, liquor store, gun store. Where the fuck are you taking me? <laughs> this don't look good. He didn't say shit. He just pulled up in front of an old rickety building that looked like a project. Now, I'd never been there before. I'm not sure if it was a project, but it certainly had all the familiar symptoms of a project. <laughs> a, a, a fucking crackhead ran this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you say running. <laughs> right. And then, and then another one jumped out of a tree and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like a cartoon. And I said, I'll be right back. And left me. Took the keys with him and just left me. At three o'clock in the morning, in front of a project in a fucking limousine. <laughs> <laughs> this was not good. Oh, man. I was like, man, I got to look around and see if I can see some landmarks and figure out where I'm at. <laughs> Might have to escape on foot. <laughs> now, this is when I know I was in a bad neighborhood. You only see this in the worst neighborhoods. Remember, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I look out the window. It was a fucking baby standing on a corner. Bruh. A baby? A baby standing on the corner at 3 o'clock in the morning in the ghetto? <laughs> oh, my God. What's he doing? <laughs> Maybe he's lost? Huh. And the baby, the baby didn't even look scared. He was just standing there. <laughs> Wondering why you're there, probably. <laughs> Looking like you just got done eating. <laughs> like a toddler, you know? <laughs> I mean, it made me sad. It made me sad, really. Cause, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to help the baby. <laughs> I, was like, mm, I don't trust you either. I'm sorry. Click. Click. <laughs> it's a bait baby in the hood trick. The old baby on the corner trick, eh? Uh, yeah, just like that. I'm not going to fall for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this little shoe drop? You know, I start feeling bad. As time goes by, I start feeling worse. Like, man, what is wrong with me? What the hell is wrong? I'm scared of a baby. <laughs> man, this baby could be in trouble. He might need my help. I got to do something. But I wasn't going to get out the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, man. I just cracked the window a little bit. Oh my gosh. There's an old limousine. I can roll it down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> baby, go home, man. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck are you doing up? <laughs> He's cussing at the baby. <laughs> The baby said, I'm selling weed, nigga. I said, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the baby. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. What was that, like a I'm whole sure sack out of his diaper? I had to buy two bags from the car. Let me get two. Let me get two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you had to buy some. Got back in the car and rolled me a joint, man. So, <laughs> that shit was scary, man. Every once in a while, like a crackhead would come up to the car and... And look in the window, it was like Jurassic Park, and should he be looking on the car? <laughs> <laughs> hey, get out of here, Cracky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. That baby was still standing there, man. 
Then I start feeling bad again. Yeah, weed make you feel guilty sometimes. You know? <laughs> man, what is wrong with me? I have just bought weed from, a, from an infant. <laughs> <laughs> I can't condone this kind of behavior. What am I thinking? I can't let the fear ruin my morals. <laughs> you would help a baby if you saw it selling weed. If I saw it selling weed? You have to, right? How would I help it? Would you be scared? Well, how would you help it? You can't call the cops call. on you it. You gotta call something. They gotta have something. <laughs> oh my lord. This is almost you would only help it by buying some from it, probably. Help them financially. <laughs> <laughs> Back it up, Dave. Doing this kind of behavior? What am I thinking? I can't let the fear ruin my morals. Right. <laughs> Gotta do something. <laughs> Hey, baby, stop selling weed, all right? You got your whole life ahead of you. He said, fuck you, nigga, I got kids to feed. I said, God, <laughs> That is tough. <clears throat> Sad. <laughs> and just at that very moment, one of the crackheads ran across the street and got hit by a car. I know it was a hit and run. The police did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. They sprang some crack on him. He got back up. <laughs> what? <laughs> the person Bruh. who got hit. <laughs> all right, guys. That was our first look at Dave Chappelle. Babe, what did you think? I thought he was hilarious. <laughs> that dude was so funny. There was right. something about his like mannerisms, the way he just was like. He's so like he yeah, was so like, yeah, stiff. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like it was it. weird. Like yeah, he was funny, man. <laughs> he's he's like different than Bill Burr, but he's absolutely hilarious. That, as well. That's not the same guy I remember from the Dave Chappelle show. <laughs> I thought that guy was. There, I just remember him being a little different. But anyways, <laughs> that guy was hilarious. I can't really compare him to Bill Burr. I thought he was so funny. I thought I was so captivated by the story that yeah. I'm almost disappointed. I don't really know what happened to the driver. Like, was he good? <laughs> Did, Did he, he come figure back? out the situation? Yeah. What was he mad about? Well, I'm gonna have to watch that whole one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people were saying in the comments that we should not really check out bits. We need to check out the whole specials, but dude, if we do that, then obviously it'll get blocked. You know what I'm saying? We can't do that. So we're going to keep on knocking out these bits the best we can. And hopefully they don't get blocked because this is some tough territory that we're dealing with right here. Right. That was Dave Chappelle, guys. That was so freaking funny. Please leave more. I got to see all of it. Yeah, I mean, what's if there's your a bit by this Dave, dude, I want to see it. Is it David or Dave Chappelle? Uh, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. What's your favorite Dave Chappelle thing? <laughs> and, I say it, and I said it in the last video, man. And I think I said it in this intro too. Let us know if there's any documentaries or anything because we're reacting to these guys, you know, I know they give their heart and their souls into being the best comedians they can be. And I know a lot of hard work goes into it. So I would appreciate these bits more if I understood who they were as people. If there's any documentaries or any pieces like that that you guys think we should watch before we go deeper into their comedy. Because, you know, at the end of the day, like a comedy is an expression of who you are. Right. So right. I'd like to know. Who, I'd like to know more about these guys, basically. So if you had any fun, man, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on the next video. Appreciate it. Peace.